Kaylee, the summer's flown by, but we're back now with preparations well underway for the new season. How have the first couple of days here at Sparrows Lane been? Uh, for me, quite easy. For the lads, very difficult. Um, to be fair, yesterday was uh, just a breaking in day and an introduction thing. Today was a lot, lot tougher. Um, and you could see they was, they, they was really feeling it today, you know. So, uh, and we only done a morning session. Um, it's been good. They're, they're in good spirits, you know, and, and, and straight away you can see the, the enthusiasm and from the lads and, and, and they all know, you know, like this is a start, a fresh start in, in this competition for places, so they're all going to they're all gonna give 100% and that's all we can ask for as staff. It's obviously been a, a bit of a summer of uncertainty with the takeover ongoing and all that sort of stuff, but I guess your own future being a little bit up in the air as a result of that, but you must be pleased now for pre-season to be underway for you just to concentrate on what the most important thing is, and that's the football. Yeah, the most important thing for me is, is, is obviously the football. Whatever's going to happen will happen regarding myself and the takeover. I can't control that, so there's no point worrying about it, but what I can control is, is how I'll prepare the lads for the start of the season. Um, and that's what myself and Jacko and, and the rest of the team will, the, the rest of the staff will will do to the best of our ability. So whatever happens in the future, then at least I can say that I've I've done my job properly. You know. Obviously, the back room's taken a bit of extra shape with Andy Marshall um, coming in, joining us yesterday. Uh, a good addition who comes highly recommended, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's. Uh, Shay Given, obviously someone I played with at Newcastle, um, he recommended him to me, he had him at, at Villa as his goal he coached towards the end of his career, so uh, yeah, and, and he doesn't live far away, I oh, know Andy, I played with the under-21s with him, so it's, it, yeah, for me it was a no-brainer, you know, he's a youngish fella and um, same as myself and Jacko, so we've we're, we're, we're got the same sort of banter if you like and uh, yeah, so no, and, and he's obviously uh, he was a top keeper himself. So um, yeah, no, I think he's he's a great addition to the, to our, our staff. This is the first summer in or ever really since uh, Jacko's coming in, not as a player but as as a, a member of the coaching staff. How's he been handling that over the last couple of days? Well, it looks like he's been handling his food and drink a lot better <laughs> over the summer because he's he's definitely a bit heavier. <laughs> But no, he, he's okay, Jacko. He, he knows his, the situation. He's been joining in a bit of the running, you know, so it's what it is. It's hard to accept when you retire, but um, but no, I think he's enjoying this side of it as well, you know, because he, he done really well um, alongside me last season and uh, like at the back end of the season. And, and, and I think he realises what a chance we've got, you know, so just bringing in the couple new more faces then, then I think we'll have a great chance. The first news of the summer saw Esri Consa leave the club um, going to Brentford, was that move somewhat of an inevitable one of him departing here? Yep, yep, I'm surprised he was here this long, personally, uh, and, and if I'm honest I'm surprised he's gone to the Championship, I think I think he, he should have really been going to the Premiership really, but here's what it is, he's a top player, top lad, like all I've done was speak highly about him whenever I anyone asks me any questions about him. Um, so talented, you know, and, and Steve and, and Jason and the rest of the lads, they should be proud of what they produced there because he, he's going to be some player in the future. So I've spoken to him and he came in yesterday to say goodbye to everyone and um, obviously I wished him all the best and, and, and said that I'll always be there if you, if you want to speak to someone. Lyle Taylor, the first new face in through the door, coming in yesterday as well. Your first ever signing as a manager. He looks to have settled in pretty well as well. Yeah, yeah. No, I couldn't have been any happier. You know, I thought he was way out of our reach, and he was at some stage. But um, to be fair to the lad, he's, he showed his attitude and, and and his will to win. You know, and and it shows where we are as, as a club how ambitious we are and, and he, he can see that from the outside and, and that was obviously pleasing for myself because uh, he had a, a much better offer somewhere else from a much like, a, a, a big club you know and um, but he chose us and, and that's that's good for us you know and um, we just need another two or three to come through the door because we're going for the top players there's no point just bringing in 
in, in average players, you know. We've, we've got good players here, so unless they're going to be better than what we've got, there's no point. Um, but yeah, so he's a massive addition to us. He brings everything, he's got everything as a striker. So um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to working with him and, um, and excited, you know. You're talking about bringing the players that you want to bring in and players of, of Lyle Taylor's ilk, some of the best in this division. Does that mean there will have to be movement out of the door of some of the players that we saw here last season? No, I don't think there's any... Uh, it happens at every football club, every summer, every January. Players come and go. Um, unfortunately, that's, that's the way the game is, you know, and, and we had people interested in, in, in Pat in the summer, like now. Which is which happens. Pat had a great season last season, so there's going to be interest. There's going to be interest in Josh McGuinness. The a club came in for him in January. You know, he's an Irish international. Obviously, there's going to be clubs interested in him. And, and if them players, I understand, if them players have the chance to go and play in the championship, then you you couldn't be grudging from wanting to do that. You know, so. Um, but it is what it is, it happens at every club. So, But yeah, am I expecting to maybe lose a couple? Probably. But the ones we're bringing in, we're, we're looking to bring in top players just like them. Obviously, Igor, Igor Fetakeli, um hasn't been around for the last couple of years, he's been out on loan, but he's, he's reported back. Um, he's someone the fans know very well, but what have you made of him so far? I mean, even though I guess his future is, is up in the air as well. Yeah, his, his future will be up in the air. Was, obviously, they brought him in as a, as a championship player, and I, I think... Um, his wage is massive compared to to, to others, so um, I think that's why he's been out on loan the last two years to try and bridge that gap. And, and I wouldn't be surprised if that happened again. You know, it's, it is what it is. We're, we're a League One club, and, and, and we've got to act like it, really. Yeah. When you look at the makeup of the squad as it is right now at this moment in time, what do you feel still needs to be done? What sort of areas do you do you want to look at at the transfer window to make sure we're fully equipped to come that first game at Sunderland? Um, I need central midfielder for sure, at least one. Um, that's definitely where we're weak. We've got two in the building. We've got Jai Rebo and Jake Fustakaski. That's it. Um, we've got good young lads coming through, but are they ready yet? No. Taylor Maloney and George Lapsley, they're, they're your next two in line. They're not ready. Um, so, yeah, we have to bring in a, a physical central midfielder. Is there many out there? Not really. But we're, we're trying. Um, in, in an ideal world, to, if you lose maybe Josh and, and, and Igor, then, then we would look to bring in another striker as well, another top striker. So it's all ifs and buts at the moment but the, the most important thing and, and the positive thing is that we've got Lyle Taylor in the building something that I thought was not going to happen at one stage and uh, so he was the first one and, and, and I was just grateful that the owner stood by us and, 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 and backed us for that you know so that was the most important thing and, and we've got an outstanding outstanding striker I guess as an individual, it's your, the first time really you've experienced being the manager and, and being in charge, I guess, of that process and working alongside Steve Gannon and getting those bodies over the line. Has it been quite an enjoyable challenge so far, although a little bit stressful, I can imagine? Yeah, very stressful. I've never been on the phone so much in my life. I've been in this last probably six weeks, five weeks. I've been on the phone more than the last five, six years. So um, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm enjoying it, like going to meet the players, you know, like we went and met Lyle Taylor and and, and, he, and uh, Igogo, like we went and met him. Unfortunately, that, that didn't come off for us, he, he chose to go to Coventry. Um, but yeah, so to trying to persuade these players why we're the right club for them, you know, and, uh, and uh, it was good. It, it's good and, and, it's, and I'm learning, you know. Off to Portugal? This weekend for a few days. That that trip away as a group is always quite important, isn't it, in the summer? Yeah, yeah. It's it's probably the most important thing at this present time because as as, as much as we we like our facilities we have here, it's, it's good to to go and bond and, and be in in each other's company like 24/7 if you like. So uh, we'll, we'll be going there and um, trying to put that team spirit back that we'd built up in the last season and. Um, 
yeah, so we'd be there and we'd be working hard and and yeah, it, it's a good place to go, you know. Obviously, next weekend is the, the first bit of action, if you like, at QPR behind closed doors, the first friendly of the summer. How how do you approach that first game? Obviously, it's it's a very different one, isn't it? It's all about getting a, getting some minutes in the legs of the players more than anything else, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, it's all preparation. The most important thing is Sunderland. Sunderland on the first day of the season. I, that's the most important thing. Obviously, you'd like to win every game up until then, but for, for us, it's just getting the lads ready fitness-wise, preparation, getting some minutes under the, into their legs, like you said. So that's the most important thing. We'll probably split it, probably play two 45 minutes, and then we'll have 11 play 45, 11 play 45, and then we'll work towards welling, you know, like, so it, it, it's a progress. This 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 time of the year is it, just a progress to, to get yourself ready for Sunderland. Is it an important time of the year this part of the summer for the younger players perhaps some in the under 23s who will get an opportunity at the likes of Welling to play in front of the, the fans and try and stamp their mark or at least get themselves on the fringes in an opportunity like this yeah for sure because like, like I said Steve and, and, and Jason like all, all the other staff they, they've they done a great job with young players and bringing the young players through I, I just said to you like we've got like young um, George Lapsley and, and, and Taylor Maloney they're, they're travelling with us to Portugal you know so you've got Ashley, the goalkeeper. Like these are all going to get chances during the season. They have to because their squad is, is so small. So yeah, they're important, and, and it's important to integrate them with the lads as much as we possibly can. Obviously, Jace needs them as well at some stages of the season. So yeah, but it, it, it's a good time to to see where they are, and, and at this present time, it is George and uh, Lowell. Lower uh, Taylor, um, are they ready at the moment? We know a lot more through these pre-season games, so um, yeah, no, it's, it's good for them. And listen, if, if they're ready, I will for sure put them in the side. No, 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 no two way. Last season ultimately ended in the disappointment at Shrewsbury, but that takes nothing away from the strong run we had to get ourselves in that position in the first place. How important will it be to carry that form and, and that sort of spirit on into the, the first game of the season, well, into the whole season, really? It's the most important thing, but for, for me, there's, there's no excuse. So we got that many points against teams six or seven teams that was above us in the 10, 10 game running when everyone thought we was gone. So these lads here have proven what they can do. So there's no excuse now. Do you know what I mean? We got that out of them. Why can't they do that again and again? So again, I'll break these games down. I'll break them down into 11s. They have to win at least seven, eight of them games. There's no reason why they can't, you know? They've shown that they can. As long as they've got that fight and that togetherness, then, then that's what I'm expecting to happen. No matter who we play, there's not going to be a team in that division that I think, wow, like, we have to be scared of them. I'm expecting when we turn up to places, then teams are thinking the same about us. Like, wow, like, look, they've just signed Lowell, Lowell Taylor as well. Like, a, a man that just scored 18 goals for Wimbledon last season, you know? So, and we've got all these other players around him as well. So, no, there's, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, not, not worried about anything. I guess that Sunderland fixture when it came out uh, last week or the week before, it, on paper it's a tough one, isn't it? A team like Sunderland, first game of the season. But I guess all bets are off at that stage of the season, aren't they? Especially with a team coming down. It, it's nothing, as you said, nothing to fear. No, nothing to fear. Sunderland's a great team. They're, they're a great club, you know. They're a massive club. But are they going to be better than us? Well, there's only one way we'll find that, and uh, that'll be on the opening day. We mentioned the um, the run we had towards the end of last season. During that run, you kept mentioning how important the fans were and and how much they helped towards getting us to that top six. With that in mind, what would your message to the supporters be at the moment? Some some who may have some concerns going into the new season with what's been going on around the place. What would your message be for them at this stage? Just just don't have any concerns. You know that you can't control some things that are happening. So it's a football club. So come and support your football team. We're all here, we all love the club, do you know what I mean? In, in, in different ways. So all I would say is just come and be part of this journey because I think it's going to be a good one. So don't miss out on it. Just come in, come along and, and be part of this, this amazing journey.